clouds and let them be Keep every story of your days a mystery Hear the songs in Right, hey, welcome back guys to another episode of our Cape York Travels. Hey, this one's part three and we are currently at the turn off on the PDR, Weeper one way, Pajinka the other, Cape York the tip. Come through here, look at this sign. This is where we've got to go. So Bramwell Junction, 108 k's. Bamiga, 324. Cape York, the tip of Cape York, Pajinka, is 357 k's. So there you go. Right, over the next few days, we are going to show you all the places we go. The campsites, the waterfalls, what? the fishing, so whatever we find. We're just going to show you everything that we get up to. This episode is going to be a cracker. Stay tuned. It's going to be a ripper. Yeah. All right, so I'll just give you a bit of a quick rundown on what's going to happen in this episode, where we're going to go. So we've kicked off from the turn off there um, towards the tip. We're going to slowly make our way up. First stop is going to be the Morton Telegraph Station, which is a nice sort of grassy campground. Nice bit of a retreat after a couple of dusty hours on this road. So the PDR is not too bad. Uh, there's sections of bitumen and dirt along the way. Um, but um, my hot tip, don't go over 80Ks an hour if you're towing. It just, there's a lot of sort of unexpected dips dust holes and rough spots and whoops too. Um, you don't want to be going much faster because you hit some of them you might get a bit out of shape. After Morton Telegraph we're going to scoot up, we'll drop into Bramwell and uh, we've also got a little bit of a surprise for you about the old Telegraph track so I can't wait to show you that when we get there. And then we're going to slowly make our way up, we've got the van on all the way, uh, we're going to poke up to Punson Bay and then we'll day trip up, take the car and we'll go and show you the very tip of Australia, hey, where everyone wants to get to the steel sign at the end of Cape York, where it says you are standing at the northernmost point of the Australian continent. We've been there before, I've been there twice, but um, I'll tell you what, it's an adventure every bloody time, so. And we've made it mate, we're just crossing the Wenlock and then you come up here it's on Bitumen to the Morton Telegraph Station. Here you go babe, take this and roll in here. Pull up the campground, so it's campground accommodation, cold drinks, pies, fishing, nature work, pies. nature walks and bird watching. The kids said pies straight away. I love pies. But I'll tell you what, um, my hands are sore. That was the roughest bit of road we've had since we left Booktown. Um, yeah, we've got fair shaking up, so it'd be interesting to see it get in the van and see how it handled that one as well. But I'll tell you what, what's the time, Dallin? Quarter past one. Oh, perfect, what an early day to pull up, mate. Quarter past one, swing around here, show everyone on the way in. Look at this, hey? Ah, that is so cool, man. And you just get to pull up anywhere. All right, hey, I'm going to stop and take a couple of photos on the way in, and then we'll uh, show you our campsite. Alrighty, so we've arrived at Morton. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. We've got Beck parking up the rig. She's already gone the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, dear. You're supposed to come through here. I was just telling them, I reckon you're probably going to go the wrong way and straight up you went the wrong way. You're supposed to drive through here and park in the shade, bud. Oh, you can if you want. I reckon we just pull through here. Why not? Good practice for you. I'll help you. You back up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, never ceases to amaze me, my life is wife. You're right. Nah, wrong way. That's it. Follow it. Yep. Yeah, chase it. Follow it. Yep. Where you going? Yeah, that way. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> That's it, you'll be able to swing it there. Come in here. Righto, so what you do, whoa, sprinkler got me. You pull up, 35 bucks for us. I'm not sure what it is per adult and per child, but that's per night. And you can camp anywhere from the front gate to the, the shop, you know? They got, we got milk there, they got milk uh, and pies and soft drink and stuff. There's a fire pit in each campsite and a um, table, but there's only a couple other people here. There's heaps of shade, but it's damn hot. So we are gonna pull up under this big mango tree 
We're just going to chill out and have a quiet arvo. I'll take you for a walk down the river. There's a fishing spot here. And there's also, um, uh, there's crocs around, but it's really shallow and there's a few rocks and stuff. So we can just pull up um, and like in a little rapid, you know, have a dip. But you can also sit under the sprinklers. The water's just pulled straight from the river. So I like it. This is Morton Telegraph Station Campground. Keep coming, babe, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And whoa, back. There you go. Goodness me. I can drive, stra I can drive straight, no worries. It's the backwards bit. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? We're at the creek, just near the Morton Telegraph Station. So we cruised on down. It's literally like a five minute walk. And look at this. Check it, hey? Super sandy, real shallow, and the water temp is ridiculous. It's pretty cool too. There's a heap of timber that's been stuck here from like the floods in years gone by. And it's all wedged in this big sort of structure. The kids have been climbing all over that. Uh, and then later on, I'm gonna walk further down the river. Like the campground is parked up along the top up there behind the trees. If you walk further down, there's a couple of deep holes that you can flick lures in. We're gonna go and try and catch a fish. Yeah, I'll go there. But for now, we'll wear the kids out. We've been stuck in the car most of the day, so we'll just have a bit of a play around down here and then we'll go back and have quiet beer and barbecue and I'll go for a bit of a fish. Oh, hey, Rui. Yep. How's that swim, bud? Great. It's good. Got loads of sand in my pants. <laughs> Of it's so annoying, isn't it, when that happens? Yes. Old sandy pants, Jack. Oh, good. Don't, stop. Don't, don't, don't stop. It's your new that. nickname, mate. Old SPJ. Dad! Mm -hmm. Dad, you can walk over. You like that? You are so annoying. <laughs> Alright, so I've come for a walk with Billy. If you head down behind where you're checking at reception, there's a walking track that runs along the river down to a little spot they've got marked on a map called the Barra Hole. So there's a couple of like snags and deep holes as you walk along. I've just been flicking a lure as I go. A little bit of interest, eh? There's a couple of fish getting around, I don't know. They're not barra, they look like they might be jungle perch or, I don't know, something, having a sniff around the lure. <laughs> oh, I got fish, eh? Got a fish. Pretty small. I don't know what it is. I'll bring him up, mate. Oh, oh no! Oh. Sorry about that. I can't show you a nice barra, but hey, I tell you what. Like I said at the start, that walk—it's a pretty walk, hey. Even if you don't catch a fish, you still had a good bit of fun. So, looks like it's pork chops on the barbecue for me. And snags on the barbecue for you, eh, Bill? Far out, Dad. Need to up my game a bit, eh? Didn't bring enough meat. Thinking we'd catch fish. Rookie error. Oh, so we've got the barbecue cranking tonight. A couple of pork chops on there, out of the freezer. And Beck's just cooking up the last of the veg. We are really slim, mate. We have not got much left at all. So. Hopefully another day or two before we get to Bamaga we'll be alright. But we're just running real, real low on uh, salad and veggies and fruit. And look at these buggers, but I've been getting around eating the green mangoes. <laughs> I think they'd be pretty harmless, but they're still um, fairly intimidating. They're massive. Charlie Bear, look out. He's coming in to get you. No, he's not. Tell you what, boys, he's got a fair set of gonads on him, doesn't he? Look at that. Don't really. Oh. Is this something new, mate? Dinner with a cow. <laughs> Not just one cow either. <laughs> There's sunset at Morton Telegraph with uh, about 20 mango eating cows wandering around. Here he is. Look. A couple of pork chops. I've got a spare snag and a bit of veggie, mate. Dig in. Been craving Justin this. He dropped one of the zucchinis, so he probably gave it to me. No. Hey, we washed it. It's all good. Not that bad. Alright, see you in the morning. A spider. A big hairy spider. Have you seen a spider? Morning from Morton Telegraph Station. It's 7am.
just have a quiet coffee and the kids are doing schoolwork. So if you haven't seen our vids before, we do distance ed with our kids, don't we dear? We do, sorry, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Beck usually does it in bed. No, she doesn't, um, but it's an early start. We're just going to do some reading. Then we're off exploring today. We're heading north. And we're going to show you um, Bremwell's, uh, Bremwell Roadhouse. And also we're going to stop in at Fruitbat Falls. And maybe Twin and Elliot. We'll see how far we get. We're sort of just winging it at the moment, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're just going to cruise along and see where we get, where we end up. We don't know where we're going to stay tonight. So. No, we don't. So we might. Yeah. We're aiming. We've got a rough plan. There is a little free camp uh, just a couple of k's away from Fruitbat Falls. It's just off the side of the PDR. So we're sort of planning to hit that. Um, but I don't know. We'll just see how we go. By the time we do schoolwork. We'll leave here, we'll poke our way north. I'm not sure what the road conditions are going to be like. Hopefully they're a bit better than yesterday because that was a bit ordinary. Yeah, I was chatting to the, um, the Beck who runs Morton Telegraph Station. She said it's pretty average to Bramwell. So awesome. we are preparing ourselves. Righto, we are leaving at Morton Telegraph Station this morning. I'll just show you this road sign here. Because uh, this is the next place. We've got Bramwell Junction is only 38 k's away. Bamaga is 262. So we'll stop at uh, Bramwell. Try and get a few supplies, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump under and put a GoPro. I should have done this on the grass, shouldn't I? But I'm gonna crawl under here. Whoa, I'll show you. Got a GoPro set up under here. And I'm gonna show you how this suspension works on these corrugations on the PDR, because it's getting pretty rough. So, let's go. Switch him on, and we'll show you how this gear works in these mad red dirt corrugations, eh? Jeez, you know the worst part is? You're driving up, so you know you have to go over all the same corrugations on the way back down. That was good footage because I just pulled it off and guess what? It's all smashed, mate. It's copped a heap of rocks. <laughs> ah, anyway, the joys of rough road and corrugations, eh? First stop, Bramwell Junction, babe. We're going to try and get some bread and milk. Yes, we are. We're very low on food. Do you so reckon gonna... they're going to have um, fruit and veggies? Nah. Nah? I don't reckon they'll have fruit and veggies. Nah. <laughs> So we're having steak, steak and uh, sausage for dinner. Yum! Alright, we have pulled up at the Bramwell Junction Roadhouse. And you know what that means? It's the start of the old telegraph track. Watch out, Charlie Bear. Here's the sign here. The old telegraph track is this way. And you've got the campgrounds here. You can stay at as well. And you can also take the bypass track to Bamaga, which is what we're doing. So here's where the surprise comes in for this trip. <laughs> Not a surprise, but a little treat. No. A few years ago, we ditched our van in Cooktown and we bought our old car, the Mazda, up here and we did the old telegraph track, south and north, and we tented it, didn't we? We did. The whole way. Ten nights. Four, it's been, I think we spent oh, three nights on the on track. The track. Yep. So now, that footage that we've never used before. <laughs> so I'm now going to drop it in, you'll see us younger, fitter, probably a little bit better looking, and the kids will be a lot smaller as well. Mm. And now uh, we've transformed, we'll have, not the 200, we'll have the Mazda. Because this trip was all about getting the caravan to the top, showing you how to do that and do some fishing spots along the way with the tinny. Um, this track is the Mazda and the tent. So let's bring it. It's going to be fun for me to go back over that old footage and drop it in to show you guys and the campgrounds we stayed at. So It was so fun. We had the best few nights on the tele track. So. It was sick. Mm. All right, old telegraph track coming up now. Giddy up. We're on our own. Pumped. We've got all our recovery gear and we're going to go and have a crack.
we're back in the van and we're heading north on the bypass track, right? So you would have seen us. We just took you down the old telegraph track in our old rig. Uh, we set the kids up with a movie and we're just going to cruise. The first stop is going to be Fruit Bat Falls. So we'll show you that. I'm pretty sure Wifey is super keen for a swim. Yep, I'm ready to go. Got my bathers on. I'm pumped to get there because it is so, so beautiful. Sweet. Where are we going? Fruit Bat Falls. Where are we going? Fruit Bat Falls. <laughs> Ever wonder if days like these last with one another with the feeling pass would you find out with me? If it all starts to crumble We'll search the pieces For hope or hope It's not for me to Ah, how good is Fruit Bat Falls, mate. This is ridiculous. Nice big deep hole at this end. Yep. Waterfall up there, and then there's another level on top of that as well. Fantastic. How good is it? The water temp is just legit perfection. Oh, I reckon we might just stay here all afternoon, boys. What do you reckon? Yep. Ah, we're finally here, mate. Fruit oh Bat. And it is so good. <laughs> ah, Fruit Bat. You're one of my favourites. Over in this far corner, there's another big waterfall. And there's water, it's pumping out of here. I reckon this is dry, mate. Imagine when it's actually cranking. You wouldn't be able to sit here. It'd just fly you straight down the river. Well, verdict, mate. Bloody unreal. That is one of the best swimming holes in Australia. Don't worry about that. Kids even declared it. What did the kids declare? Best swimming hole in Australia. There you go. How was that, Rue? Great. <laughs> you always say great. How was that? Fantastic. Fantastic. Come on, Beezy, give us your honest opinion. Fantastic! Don't pay the fit. Well, you have to pay the ferry, man. But well, I won't let you go across. All right, next stop, Jardine River Ferry. I've just been inside and paid the fella in there. It's 130 bucks, I'll turn this off. 130 bucks to get across the ferry. That's with your car and your caravan, okay? Uh, but what that also gives you is free camping at all the bush camps like Muddy Head, Jardine River Mouth, Jackie Jackie, Cockatoo Creek, all the stuff on the, on the um, OTT as well. So you get a bit for your money and honestly there's no other way to get across. So there you go, we're gonna go across now and make our way out to a little place called Muddy Head. So there you go, but you can get- It's not muddy, it's moody. Oh, moody head. Moody. <laughs> you can get fuel here. So I'll drive through here actually, really and we'll just show you. Okay. This is the fuel station and this is the Jardine River Ferry office. There you go, it's out the window here babe, Jardine River Ferry. Wave the old mate. Thanks buddy. And then we'll cruise through here. This is their campground too, so if you want to camp out the back here, Oh, look at that, babe. It's kind of nice down on the palm trees there. Oh, that is kind of nice. That was me. Yeah. I, I didn't want to. I wasn't. Stay yeah. I was anyway. like, let's just get over the get over the other side and go somewhere on the beach. That was. I was keen for that. But it's three thirty, so probably a bit of a silly decision because it's getting late. But anyway, anyway swinging around. Here's the ferry. Let's drive her on, eh? Alrighty, we're gonna throw a bit of a curveball at ya. Look at the sign in the background here, hey? That's not Moody Head, is it? Anyway, we've ended up at Punson Bay. And uh, just over here at the turn off as well is the croc tent. We'll show you a bit of that in a minute because the kids have been hanging to get there. Come over here, I'll tell you a story. So we crossed the Jardine River Ferry. 
thinking we'd go to Moody Head, decided that we'd duck into Bamiya because we have really no groceries. I don't have any beer. And so we roll in there and guess what, it's Saturday. What time do you reckon the grocery store shuts on a Saturday in Bamiga? Four o'clock, mate. What time do you reckon we got there? 4.09 p.m. So we missed out on getting groceries at Bamiga. The whole reason that we were gonna come to Bamiga was to get groceries and lo and behold, what have we got? Nothing. Beer and cider. <laughs> yes, we were lucky. So five till seven, they're normally open and you wouldn't believe it's Saturdays. They open at three. Happy days. So at least we got beer and cider. And uh, we've just been told by a couple others we met that there's a party in here at Punson Bay. So the wood-fired pizza oven's running. They're on to The it. tap beer's on. We're gonna head in there and we'll show you Punson Bay and the tip over the next few days. And we'll backtrack after that and we'll show you Moody Head, Alao Beach and that on the way down. But it's true trip in a van style, mate. We're constant, I've, actually, it's, I think it's more her than me. It is not. Although I knew where I wanted to go. go. If it was up to me, we'd be camped on the Jardine River right now. And now we're and look be where we are. At Punson we're Bay. at the Punson so. Bay. So, righto, let's go. Thanks, dear. I love your uh, uncertainty. It's beautiful. <laughs> hey, Bill, do you want to turn your movie off, Bill? <laughs> turn your movie off. Guess where we are? Um, pub. <laughs> where, wherever you wanted to go the whole time coming to Cape York. Crockton. Yeah. The Crockton. The Crockton. We're at the Crockton. Yeah. Come on, come inside the whole Let's time. Let's do it. We've promised Billy he's gonna get like a, a necklace with a croc tooth on it. It's so, all he wants. Oh my god, I hope they've got some in there. And you said I could have one. Hmm, did we? Oh, oh yeah. Are you sure I don't remember that? that. I don't remember oh, that either. No, 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 no. Oh. You said actually be true for me. Are you actually one? serious? I don't think go. we did. I don't yeah, think we did. Yeah, Mum told me. Oh, I don't know. And she didn't. Ah, anyway. Let's do Let's it. Let's go into the croc tent and we'll um, see what we can find these kids, eh? Oh, the kids are stoked. Here you go. Here's the famous croc tent. And you've got crocodile tooth necklaces as well. Oh my gosh, Billy, you'd be frothing. Oh, out the cake. Give us a look, Bill. Oh, yeah. Which one are you going to choose, man? I think I'm going to get the necklace. This one. Yeah, this one here. I'm going to get this. Oh, that's cool. I think you will. How good is that? I'm going to get this. Billy? <laughs> I'll give you a quick look at the other stuff in here. They got all these random Cap Yorks shirts, singlets, hats, maps, the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, look at these bar runners. Ah, oh, now that's where we're going. Oh, yeah. I like it. All right, let's see how we go. How have we go? Have we decided yet? Yep, straight up. This give me a look straight up. Oh, oh the cock that's, teeth. That's tough. So that's a real cock teeth. What about you, Bill? What do you got? You decided yet? Too many to choose from. What did you end up choosing, Bill? Uh, well, you got a crocodile one. What did you get? Saying, you got a croc tooth? Oh, oh, I was aiming for this That's the whole killer. time. And what about you? What and have you I got? got a croc tooth and a crocodile. Oh, you guys are so lucky. No, oh, she got double. All right, let's go. We're going to Punson Bay. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'll chuck, you th chuck me this, babe. What? Oh, hit something on the way through. Punson Bay camping. Are you actually serious? Look at that. Ah, I'm gonna ask my lovely wife if um, she wouldn't mind jumping out and filming us drive under that sign. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Thanks, my dear. That's a So we've made it. We got here a little bit late. We had to get old love to come down from the bar and check us in. Anyway, we've ended up here. Look at this. What a cool sight, eh? It's actually quite busy. I'll stand up and try and show you around. If you have a look all the way down the beachfront, all those ones are pretty busy all the way along. Well, we've got a pretty mid spot. We've got power, we've got water, we've got dunnies over there. Plan for the Savo is we'll duck down, order a uh, couple of pizzas have a beer at the bar, and then um, have an early night, I think. We'll show you a bit about Punson Bay tomorrow. We're gonna go and get groceries and stuff like that, but what do you reckon of this place, boys? Pretty cool? Yeah. It's nice, eh? Yeah. Hey? yeah. I like it. I love it, but cookies. 
Mmm, but there is crockies. We'll go for a walk in the morning and see if we see any crock slides on the beach, eh? And toys. Sweet. All right, oh, yeah. pizza for dinner? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Boom. Pizza for dinner, D. Look at her, she's so Hey, what about me? This mate, Kate Yorker. Yum. One over here, one here. Let's get into it. Which one's out? Cheers, boss. Morning from Punson Bay, hey. We've been up for about an hour now. Me and the kids are beach combing along the beach out the front of Punson. If you're lucky, they reckon you can see croc slides from the night before. There's a resident croc called Gary that kicks around here and sometimes he'll come up at the night time. And you can see his tracks of the morning. Did we find any croc tracks this morning? No. We didn't, did we? But what else did we find? We found lots of cool shells. We found crabs. Crabs, crayfish. I Billy found this. like a, <clears throat> a feather starfish. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> Yeah, you did make it. Yeah. And then um, we found a helicopter. So you can and do flights out of here as well if you can. And I found this. You did? That's really nice. And I also found this. Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> my coffee's empty, so we're going back to have another coffee. We'll poke around. We're going to go back into Bamaga and get some groceries today, but I'll walk around and give a bit more footage of um, Punson Bay Campground and the pool and the bar and all that sort of stuff to give you a good look at it. Uh, 90 bucks a night, it cost us to stay on an unpowered site, 70 for an unpowered, or 90 for a powered, yeah, 70 for an unpowered, so it's up there, but you've got to look at where you are too, there's some pretty good facilities here. Alright, ready to make me another coffee brew? Yep. <laughs> ah, righto, oi, I just want to show you something I do while we're on the road, uh, just a little bit of maintenance on the van, so I'll carry a little tiny grease gun a couple of spare grease cartridges and then I'll get under after any sort of big trip especially on these corrugations and that I'll get under and check everything make sure there's no loose bolts and no cracks in the frame or anything you know what I mean just anything out of the ordinary but what I do is um on this ATX there is a grease nipple on each trailing arm I just get under here and pump them full of grease until a little bit comes out the ends just to make sure they're all lubed up because we're working pretty hard, mate, on all these corrugations, so it's a good idea to do that. And then also, I jump under the car, I do the drive shaft, and on the cruiser, it's got um, uh, updated, like, um, what are they called, upper control arms in the front of the cruiser, and they've got a greasable top end as well. So I pop the cap and I grease them. Just go over, spend half an hour looking over everything, tightening things up. You sort of, it's amazing what you'll find when you actually take a few minutes and uh, go for a look you know and see what's around and then you can just grab a few spanners tighten them up things like spotlights i noticed my spotlights for some, some of the bolts just starting to get a bit loose so just take a bit of time out and um prevention mate is better than a cure same as medicine you know preventative maintenance is way better than breakdown stuff so anyway that's me <laughs> So if you're bringing your caravan up to Cape York, there's, well, basically very limited with top points, but there is one in Seisha. It's a little bit tricky to find, but it is on, obviously on wiki camps, but here he is. Got a cute, one in Australia. Yeah, it's cute little hut there. <laughs> oh. I get all the good jobs. But anyway, if you're staying at uh, Punts and I think there's one in Seisha Caravan Park, maybe. But uh, yeah, not many up here. Seisha Dump Point, and then your next one, I think, is Weeper. He gets a good job. Favourite part of the day, mate. No? Looks it. Best job in the world. All right, well, you wouldn't believe it, but we've run out of fuel in Cape York, but luckily we're at the Banagas supermarket. And um, I loaded all my frozen stuff, all the groceries in the canopy, and just went to start the car and it wouldn't start. So lucky we were able to catch a lift to the nearest servo, so Justin's gone there now to fill up a jerry and bring it back. But we get to smelter in the heat here. See, he's the action guy. Can you bloody believe it, mate? Run out of fuel. Don't go. Guess where we are, though? <laughs> So it's kind of lucky we had someone to take us down and fill up the jerry can. I always wanted to test what sort of range we got out of the cruiser, but I didn't really want to find out the hard way. But um, looks like we have. Anyway, throw 20 litres in it and we'll get going again, eh? Straight to the survey, dear. 
<laughs> for the drive up the tip, it's 15 k's from the croc tent, but it's actually, well, the road's not the greatest, but it's a really pretty drive. So you go through like a lot of rainforest and stuff that you haven't really seen on the way up the tip. So it's nice. Here we go, look at this. This is what it looks like when you drive out to the car park at the tip. We're gonna park up here and then you walk up over this hill here. All right, here we go. We are walking to the tip. There's the car park down behind me. I'm fully loaded, mate. I've got camera gear. I've got a fishing rod. <laughs> the only thing I'm not carrying is water. Oh my goodness, but you gotta look at this. How is that view back? Oh, so it's sort of half tide at the moment. Look at the colours of the water. Ah, oh, so that is so amazing. So where we got to walk to? If it's full low tide, you can actually walk the sand all the way around the bottom. But the tip is pretty much straight out there, looking at that island. So you walk up and over these rocky outcrops. Like I said, doesn't take long. Pretty sure last time we walked it in thongs, didn't we? Yep. Well, Beck's wearing her sandals at the moment. The Birkins. I'm surprised you don't have your socks on too, dear. Hey, are you keen to get to the tip, boys? Yep. Yep. This is right up your alley, this rock hopping, isn't it? Wow, we here. I grab a boulder, put it on the pole. Oh, you're like a mountain goat, Rui. Yep. <laughs> Go, Bibby. Oh, that's epic. What a view, boys. Cape York, baby. And it's so windy. <laughs> Might be time to take your hats off, kiddos, before they get blown into the Torres Strait. Not far to go now, look at this, just up over this hill, down the bottom, and we'll be at the tip. At that famous sign, Rui, hey? Yep. We'll be standing at the northernmost point of Australia, bud. So we've made it, mate, hey? back here three years ago. <laughs> We're just metres away from the sign, which is the northernmost point of the tip of Australia. And I'll tell you, I don't know, like, we've been here before. This is my third time here. But it, it's just epic every time, hey? Every time it's been different. We've done different stuff. Last yeah. time was in a tent. This time we've dragged our caravan so all the way to the bloody top. Can you believe it? We're parked at Punson Bay Camping in a 22-foot caravan. And it's just so beautiful here. <sighs> And we got wind. Imagine, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's always it's renowned for it to be like a windy part of the world. But they reckon November, December is like you get a real good lull, and it's just epic weather. So, imagine if you got this in pristine conditions, it would be paradise, mate. Yeah. But I tell you what, you got to get up here, eh? It's a mission. Um, <laughs> be prepared to, you know, get dirty, get dusty, get hot, uh, and probably break a few things. We've been pretty lucky. We haven't. Haven't done any damage to the yeah. car or the van. No dust, no breakages. No, but I'll tell you, we're bloody well prepared, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. So yeah. we've spent Quite a lot enough. of <laughs> a lot of years researching the gear we need so we can do these sorts of tracks and not actually have any damage. And I'll tell you what, we've bloody well done it. We've so, actually had a lot of dust in our van before, so. We have, we've been there. <laughs> we know we don't. Yeah. Dust. Oh, I got my fishing rod caught in a stick. Anyway, let's wander the last 100 metres, babe, and we'll get a photo down at this sign, eh? Let's do it. Oh, we're getting close. Look, there it is, guys. There's the sign just down here. Hey, Bill, come and check this out. Look at this little rock that someone's painted. How epic's that? In this massive boulder pile, there's a little Cape York sign rock, and it's only just above the real one. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. All right, babe, here you go. Hey, walking down to the tip. Let's go. We're only 50 metres away. Righto kids, make your way down there. Don't go near the water, bud, eh? Hey? Yeah. No, no, you go, you go first. You can lead the way. Show me the sign, bud. Yeah. What do you reckon, Bezzy? Good as. You're the furthest north point we can go to in Australia, bub. Thumbs up, check it. Have a look at this. You're touching the sign. You. Ah, get down here, Becky. Okay. Hey, we've made it, kiddos. Hey, come around here. What do you reckon? We yeah. made it to the northernmost point of Australia. It's your second time here. Ah, yeah. oh, it's a good feeling, isn't it? Hey, we are standing at the northernmost point of the Australian continent. I'm actually going to go for a fish because they reckon 
that if you don't throw a lure in up here, you're crazy because there is some big fish kicking around in here. But first, we're going to get a couple of photos to show you, and uh, then I'm going to catch a mackerel. What do you reckon? Okay. Mackerel? I highly doubt it. Mackerel for dinner off the Cape? All right. Giddy up. We're at the northernmost point. Loving it. <laughs> yeah. 